Hey guys, so this is gonna be a quick one today. I'm actually late for a date, but because I have a date, I thought I'd share my grooming routine, give some advice to you guys based on my opinion. Taking a poo. So what are the reasons for actually maintaining your hair? First of all, if you have gym physique, it just really lets those gains show muscles. Other than that, you have your body odor, which is honestly, other than aesthetic, the main reason why I trim my body hair, especially in uh, certain spots such as under my armpits. And the last reason is you might just prefer how it looks and girls probably prefer how it looks too. But one thing I'll say is if you're going to start maintaining your body hair, regularly i would recommend doing it at least once a week but it'll probably does depend on the body part as well cool probably me a couple of hours ago to be honest before i did my grooming just a hairy just well but if you want some sort of beard and face routine go look at my other videos before we actually start talking about what i do i'm going to talk about the tools you may need gillette the back blade and the main thing i use which covers like 90 percent of my body is the brio brio is sponsoring this video Bro, just as I started, my trimmer just said I needed to add oil to it. I've never seen it before. That's pretty cool though. At least it won't ruin itself because you know you have to add oil. Use it for my beard. Use it for my body. It looks sleek. It looks professional. But honestly, I've been using them for the longest time and uh, I would highly recommend you guys try it. Link in the description if you're interested. All you need is this bad boy. So those are the tools that I use and those are the tools that I would recommend. Now, when it comes to the neck and the shoulders area, I find that shaving your neck really highlights your jaw. It makes your jaw really prominent. I'd recommend just straight up shaving neck and shoulders. That's what I do. Oh, I forgot to give him an armpit hair. There you go. Now, when it comes to the chest, I personally like having my chest a little bit hairy and I think most of the women out there probably agree. I think it's quite a masculine thing. But having said that, you don't want it to just become a forest. There are people out there who like a really hairy guy, but I personally think a little bit of hair is good. So trimming it down, my personal preference is six millimeters and I shave against the grain. So I just get it nice and short, like you can see on my chest right now. Um, the alternative, if I were to shave it, and if anyone else out there is hairy and they were to shave it, you're gonna find that it's stubbly and prickly, and it's just not a very pleasant experience when it grows back. So I would recommend just trimming it down. Get rid of that. It's gonna look great after. I'm done with him. Stomach. Again, there's not that many people who can grow like a crazy amount of hair on their stomach, but if you're like me and you do, then trimming it down similar to the chest is actually a good idea. I personally like having it at four millimeters. There's a lot of guys who also just prefer shaving it. I've actually heard quite a few times that girls don't mind a snail trail. Maybe just like keep that maintained and keep it if you like it, if you don't get rid of it, whatever. Um, I personally prefer having it at four millimeters. Right, and then when it comes to arms, now this I don't think you need to do anything to. I've never seen a girl who really complains about arm hair, but my personal preference, I usually trim it like once a year, maybe twice. And when I do trim it, I trim it a little bit shorter than I would like it because I find that it just takes longer to grow, which is great because I don't have to keep maintaining it. That's my personal preference, but honestly, yeah, I'd say arms are probably one of the least important places to trim. All right, and then when it comes to armpits, I personally like having my armpits pretty short, three millimeters. And that's because it's the place that holds onto the most odor. But again, I wouldn't really recommend shaving. Firstly, growing back stubble in that area is the worst because it's under like a fold. So you can really feel the prickles. It's not nice. Cool. So that pretty much covers the front side. Actually, before I go on, places that I do shave, but my neck and shoulders, when I shave it, I get so many ingrown hairs. You can probably see some right now. That's why I'm eventually gonna get laser. Firstly, it's just easier to maintain. And secondly, the ingrown hairs are the worst. But yeah, that's something to be aware of if you're a really hairy guy. That's the front side. Let's talk about the back side really quick. The only solution I have for this, I do trim it a little bit with this around my shoulder area, but the real only way I have of doing it is with the back blade. It's like, imagine a back scratcher, but it has a blade on it. So you literally just scratch away the hair. It's the best that I've personally been able to come up with. If you're a hairy guy there, just shave it all. And uh, I've never met a girl who prefers back hair. All right, all of this so far is shaving with the grain. So you get rid of most of the length. Um, there's only really one place on my body that I don't shave with the grain and I'll explain that in a second. 
But let's move on to the legs. Yeah, again, legs, same as arms. I honestly don't think it's that important unless you're like a full on werewolf. I do trim them maybe once or twice a year. But yeah, legs, if you don't want to do anything, I've never seen anyone complain about guys' hairy legs, so. And then, the groin area. So, it's a bit awkward to draw, but. <laughs> so what I personally do is, this is the one spot I go with the grain so that it doesn't trim it down too short because some people like it completely shaved. I personally find that I feel like a little boy when that happens. So I would trim it down to a six with the grain. Now, when it comes to the balls, the balls I would 100% shave them. And most people are so scared of shaving that area and I can understand why, because cutting those off would be tragic. The one thing I will say is that's probably the one spot I would not use a trimmer, any trimmer, because they all have teeth and uh, it pinches the skin. And my God, it is painful, so really avoid it. Use a Gillette, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't cut. Just, if you're not used to it, take your time, but I promise it's scarier than it actually is. My personal experience, shave that area. Crack. <laughs> Looks like he's um, taking a poo. Nothing's going near this area for me, but I still trim it down very short because hygiene reasons. So I pretty much trim it down, trim it, don't shave it. That means that I don't have that stubbly, stubbly feeling in between my cheeks that walk around from shaving it. So I trim it instead. If you're gonna shave, just put it in the bin. It's the amount of times I've blocked my drains doing that. Just don't do it. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, keep on top of your maintenance. Recommend a Brio. Go check it out, link in the description. And yeah guys, uh, thank you for watching. I'm late for my day. She's gonna be pissed. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Cause I'ma be me, oh.